Hi, everyone. I have been at this encampment since Thursday, April 25th. I was barricaded inside Shohada Square for three days in which I was denied access to bathrooms, medics, and legal observers. However, my morale was kept up by the hundreds of students and community members who showed up and showed out for solidarity with Gaza. Once the community reclaimed the yard, the beauty of the space we created became even more clear. As a Jew, I have been taught about my people's long history of fighting oppression. I have learned that it is my responsibility to fight oppression wherever I see it. The space we have created here has been incredibly inclusive. We've had interfaith prayers, we celebrated Orthodox Easter, we celebrate our daily prayers for our Muslim folks, and we've had two Shabbat services, um, and during one of those Shabbat services, I was speaking to the rabbi who came about the fact that I never had a bat mitzvah because we didn't have any anti-Zionist synagogues where I grew up. We didn't have any synagogues that aligned with my values and my family's values. So I never went to Hebrew school. I never received a Jewish education or experienced that rite of passage um, that, that most Jews do. Um, so in talking to this rabbi, he said, well, I'll bring a Torah scroll. We'll give you a bat mitzvah. And so, <laughs> so me and two of my comrades uh, were bat mitzvahed here in Shohada Square. And I really feel that being here at this encampment with these people has brought me much closer to my religion. Um, and I feel safer here as a Jew than I do anywhere else because I know everyone here, everyone here believes in collective liberation. Yet the only time that I have felt unsafe has been at the hands of the repressive university administration and the violent police. Yeah. Yesterday morning, I was sleeping um, when I was awoken to a crowd of cops who arrested me and dozens of my comrades. Yeah. We were held at a jail site for over five hours. During this time, during this time, we learned that our friends, our loved ones, were being maced, were being brutalized. Shame. My friend had her hijab ripped off. Shame. Sue them! Yes. And yet we're still here. We're here because we have to be here. Because despite what we've gone through, Rafa is still being bombed as we speak. There's still over a million people who have nowhere to go. Shame! This university has the power to do something. They can divest. They can end their material support for the Zionist entity. And we're going to be here. We're going to keep fighting until they do so. The violence that we as students have been subjected to is, are the same tactics that are used against the Palestinian people. They were developed by the Israeli military. They were practiced on Palestinians. This is no surprise. Our pigs here are Israeli trained. Yet while we stand here on our campus, there is not a single university left standing in Gaza. Shame! The IOF has murdered over 40,000 and over 17,000 children. 
Over a million Palestinians are at imminent risk of death. There's nowhere for us for them to go. So uh, let us ground ourselves in the urgency of this fight for Palestinian liberation. Nothing that we have gone through here, none of the brutalization, none of the arrests, none of the violence, nothing will ever compare to what Gaza is going through right now. All eyes on Rafah now! I would love to turn it over to one of my fellow comrades.